I am a neuro-oncologist, which means I treat brain tumors, whether they arise from the brain itself or the spine, or they come to the brain from elsewhere in the body, like the lungs or the breast. I don't only do that, I also treat any neurological conditions related to cancer. So patients who have neurotoxicities or neurological problems because they had previous chemotherapy or radiation or even immunotherapy, I also treat these conditions. I try my best to do a tailored um, treatment for that patient, to talk it w among a team with the neurosurgeons and the radiation oncologist as a team and tackle this problem together. And also, um, it's a passion of mine of looking at the genes and the genetics of these tumors. So not just treat it as a brain tumor, but try to look at it as an individual tumor, how it behaves, what led it to be a cancer, and try to find the best treatment plan to tackle this particular tumor. One of the cases that I had was a young patient who had a glioblastoma, which is an aggressive brain tumor, and he was told it's inoperable and that was it. But we were able to look at his own tumor and find a genetic mutation that luckily had a therapy out there. We were able to work on getting him that therapy through the drug company and his insurance company. And three years later, he's doing very well. And this is why I do this. I wanna say to the patients that having a brain tumor diagnosis is not the end of the world. And having the kind of specialized care is important, even if it's gonna take you a little bit longer to get to that care and you wanna start right away, but having the right physician can make a difference. It's a lifelong relationship that I have with the patients. I see them, I see how they do, how they do with their cancer, with the treatment, but also in their lives and with their families. And I also feel that having that relationship will get us to the point where patients or families are satisfied and when they're happy and satisfied, I feel good.